an amended course for the opening stage of the Tour of Turkey. Snow was the main problem. It was supposed to be a climbing day. 167 kilometres were on the cards, but that was very much curtailed as Konya, the venue for the second stage, stepped into the breach and provided a short stage of just 73 kilometres, destined to be one for the sprinters. So, a new looping course to be taken on, and indeed to just one categorised climb, a modest one, on a highway of a Category 3. Would it tempt a breakaway? Well, you'd have to be brave with all the sprinters' teams, of course, gunning to control the event. Would they be able to do so? That was the big question. In the end, after a couple of skirmishes, we had Ivar Zlik from the A Block team, and also joining him, Binyol Powells were up the road with Sean Deby. Sean Deby has had a, a modicum of success of late and finds himself in a position where he would have been the favourite of these two to hoover up the intermediate sprint points and maybe the mountains. With so many sprint names, the likes of Mark Cavendish, joined by uh, Fabio Jakobsen, who's back on the bike for De Koenig Quickstep, Israel's startup nation also here with Andy Greipel and Alpacin Fenix with Jasper Philipsen. It was a quality field, certainly for the quick men. Well, the intermediate sprint, the uh, first of which went uh, the way of uh, Sean Deby, just uh, beating Ivan Zlik. They swapped duties for the King of the Mountains jersey. Only one climb today, and so those three points that came up for grabs, they kind of exchanged duties. It looks like uh, uh, Zlik being forgiven by Deby for challenging him on that first intermediate sprint. There was a Turkish beauty sprint to be had as well, so both of these riders would be guaranteed a place on the podium at the end of the day. Stage win, though, up for grabs for the sprinters, and naturally enough, the leader's jersey therein. And good lead-in approach work from De Koenig Quickstep. You knew that Mark Kamenisch was certainly up for it. Uno X Pro Cycling, however, looked to be in dominant form, wearing their familiar mustard and scarlet. The... Uh, Nordic team were really on their metal. In fact, they were bossing it on either side of the road. And when it came to a crucial approach with uh, the Flamme Rouge looming, and after that, two turns that came in very, very quick succession at 500 metres and 350 metres from the line, you had to be at the front. Well, they were there along with Rally Cycling, resplendent in their bright orange, and it was the place to be. A double balk within the pack meant that many of the sprinters got themselves out of position, Mark Cavendish included, so he was in retrieval mode as the metres started to ebb away. Who would it be at the line? That was the big question. Christopher Olverson had really had the ultimate lead out, but on his case was Arvid Decline of Rally Cycling, and at the line, it was Decline. Well, it took a while to separate them with the photo finish, but we have a race leader, and it is from Rally Healthcare Cycling that got there at the right moment. All about timing, I guess you might say. Mark Cavendish finishing behind Barbier of Delco, Philipson and Greipel in Cavendish's wake. We spent again on stage two, staying in Konya, so not that far to travel. This man, well, travelling to the sky, I think you might say, Arvid Decline, in heaven. He leads this race by a margin of four seconds now, with the bonus seconds at the line factored in. Halverson, four in arrears, Barbier, six seconds down. To be who'd picked up those bonus seconds out on the course, also rounding out the top five.